Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a close-up review overview deck collection of my own Free Spirit cards. So Free Spirit cards came about because I started making my own Oracle and Tarot decks and it happened really organically. Um, my whole life I always got spirit messages and I always was looking for an outlet or a channel and I, I used it in various ways over the years, um, probably decades. I know I sound young but um, and recently I found, maybe in the last couple of years, of putting them on tarot decks and oracle decks, so I started doing it for myself, and then I started actually sharing them on my Etsy store and doing small runs of them. And um, all of these decks were really inspired. I never really set out to make a deck, really. Um, maybe the first one, um, the Natural Oracle for Life, became like the my first deck, and it was my first deck for the longest time. It was like a natural hybrid I call it a natural hybrid tarot oracle and so I use that that was my number one deck so this is just on my channel I have close-up reviews of each and every deck um, but I just wanted to give a quick deck collection review because I never did it for myself my whole channel is I'm always plugging everybody else's uh, decks and showing their work and raving about it and I realized I didn't even do that for myself um, for my own decks that I created and I these decks are so special to me they're like my babies and um, it took me a lot to want to share them to be honest with you um, but I find that if you're nudged to share you know this goes to anyone who is creative or um, you know if it feeds you share it because it'll probably feed others as well and so um, these were my babies and at first it felt like you could see my earlier reviews um, showing my decks I was so um, I don't know, almost like not even comfortable. It felt so like sharing my diary, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, the feedback, I really thank you so much for appreciating the energy um, of the decks. And I, I love all your feedback and comments, honestly. And it moves me deeply because then it just only shows me like I was correct in sharing them in the first place. So on my Etsy store, I only do small runs at a time. Uh, it's all I could really do. All the decks come in like um, a plain white box, glossy box, but because um, I want to keep costs down and because there are eight decks, I can do small runs at a time. If the stock runs out, I do get them back. Um, each one has a different purpose, and I just wanted to go again. There, there are definitely reviews of each deck, so you could see each card and get a reading at the end. But I wanted to just give a brief overview and show that there are eight decks. <laughs> Oh, and at this time the first one I did with all these decks too I'm all about spirit messages so I get spirit messages um as a, a kid I used to auto write a lot it's also that's how I, I saw through the difficult times in my life and I would put those spirit messages on things I created things with the spirit messages but now I just recently in the last couple of years found you know was inspired to create cards with them and I found it was like the perfect channel it was the perfect outlet and um, also you'll find this channel organically started out just me sharing close-up reviews of my decks that I had but then I started getting nudged to share my actual spirit messages so that wasn't intentional either so I'm sharing that with you because if you get inspired the whole times especially now during this transformational time if you get divinely inspired follow through you don't know where it leads or you know this isn't my job I, ha I have a job but it's like another outlet if you have a hobby if you have uh, a side thing that you do you know do it um, I think we're all being urged to do and um, okay so the first one I did just to give you an idea all these messages okay so all these decks they're all natural pictures that I've taken with the spiritual the spirit messages on them um, none of this I'm not an artist I'm not a digital artist so these are all very natural decks um, they're all natural pictures that I've taken and then it's infused with spirit messages on top of it so for example all the big large decks have 88 cards plus two instruction cards then these three decks are smaller size so when I say they're smaller size like the divine timing that people are really resonating with you know it's a smaller deck um, they're smaller than the tarot size um, that's because they're just blatant um, messages here this is a picture of the sky with clouds on the bottom and it will say divine timing is now timing not possible yet so that was my divine timing deck I'll show you after but this was the first deck I have 88 cards natural pictures natural natural oracle for life so they're all natural pictures that I took and they all have spirit messages on here praying angel it's like praying angel hears all prayers know any prayers you have are being listened to and will be answered you're heard um, a lot of them tarot messages but also tuning into your mind body and spirit 
your energy at the moment, it gives you either tarot or oracle messages. So here at Garden of Creativity, you have such a lush garden of creativity. Talk about the, what they made me gush about, follow your inspirations, tend to it, sow those seeds, water your dreams, and show your attention like the sun, encouraging those creations to fruition. Tend to your garden of creativity and watch it grow now. So if you got that card, it's inspiring you to create. This we got a while ago, weather the storms. Um, see, it's a natural picture of a palm tree, which literally naturally weathers the storm. So it, that's the intention behind. It was natural pictures, then it had a natural spirit message to go through, go to that natural card and that sentiment. And it says you will weather the storms by being flexible and strong at the same time. You will not just survive but come out of it all even more resilient and stronger for it. That is the blessing after the storm. So you get all these messages and they're all natural pictures that I've taken and love is flying in, reach out for good connections now and it will tell you the message. So this was my deck for like the longest, longest time. Natural hybrid tarot oracle is what I called it. It's the natural oracle for life and 88 cards in here. So I did that one. Then I jumped over to, I think I did Love Messages, Pure Love from Spirit. Pure Love from Spirit. This is one of the smaller decks. Pure Love from Spirit. That was my next one because of course uh, the messages are all of Pure Love from Spirit. So whether it's your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your archangels, your loved ones who've passed on, I really felt like they were coming through here. So this is very direct Pure Love a pure love from spirit messages and these all these small decks have 44 cards with two instructional cards and so it will say this is a picture of a sky that I naturally took of course we are around you oops we will help you through it we are supporting you pure love from spirit so these are just immediate spirit pick-me-up messages that when I do my spirit pick-me-up readings I we want the best for you it's we will help you to let go it's all direct. We know how good you are. We are here for you. We love you. We will help heal the situation. We want you to be happy. We want you to know we are safe and happy. We know all you think and we will help you find your way. They're all direct spirit messages. So this was the next one I did the pure love from spirit. And then after that, I did pure love for love messages, which was, this is a picture of a selenite crystal heart. These have 44 cards with two instructional cards. And this is to get love messages for love readings. Like if you wanted to get ideas of if um, like 5D self, or if you're involved with someone, what are they thinking about your relationship? You shuffle the cards, let them uh, fall out. It says, I feel so connected to you. I feel you are moving farther away. What was so funny was the type shifted. And then for some reason it was like, it wouldn't go back. And then I understood they meant it to do that. I feel you're moving farther away, literally moving. I'm hoping we can work it out. Very direct. We need to clear the air with honesty. So you pull a couple of cards and you can see I'm sending you messages and signs. You can tune into their love. I'm sorry I hurt you. Um, very clear love messages, pure love for love messages for physical. So this was for spirit and this was for physical love relationships if you wanted to tap in. Okay, so then uh, I had these three for the longest time and that's all I did. Then for fun, this was not to really direct it from spirit. This was like me having like a project. I wanted um, a tarot deck of jewels. So these are all jewels, literally. I placed them, uh, this was very complicated what I did, but this is a heart of jewels. And then each card, see this is the world. Um, these are all individual jewels and then I took a picture of the layout of the jewel. So this is what I did for myself. I did have it for a while on the Etsy store. I think I took it down. I, for me, I loved, I loved it. Um, see the Queen of Swords. Um, I just had such a great time. Two of Wands. So they're all jewels. So Four of Wands. Um, where we have Magician. Ace of Swords, and they're all jewels, and a picture of jewels in the formation. Look at my little Five of Cups. Um, I didn't know if it would translate or people would get it, so I think I took it off. But um, I just love this. This felt like such a decadent jewel deck. So these are all jewels, and I took picture Hierophant, Hermit. I love the major arcanas that I did, the moon. Um, hold on a second. Um, Ace of Pentacles, the Strength card. Um, here, Ace of Cups. These are all pictures of jewels. Let's see, three of pentacles. So see how I, it, it goes with the 
rider weight, but like all in jewels. Oh look, three of cups. You can get that they're like running with the hearts on top of them. Um, I really like my uh, oh temperance. Um, here we go. Oh, the lovers. So I just had fun creating this. I don't think I'm selling this one. It's just like what I, I had. I had a blast with it. Um, cause some of them are blurry. It's really blurry and I just couldn't fix it. So I took, I think I took these off, but like the sun, they weren't the quality that I, I wanted to, um, give, but I love the creativity. So I just wanted to show, oh, the hangman. Oopsie, the hangman. Yeah, but some of the stones, it was hard to, when I took the pictures, um, some of them came out very blurry. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So I didn't really know how to make it more clear, and I couldn't certainly do this again um, and recreate this. I was so in the zone when I did this that I wouldn't even be able to, I don't know what the heck I was doing. The Five of Pentacles. Um, like, you just can't recreate it. You know what I'm saying? The star... But I love this for myself. So I think I just keep this for myself. I don't think I'm selling it. I didn't like that. Okay. So now the next one I did, I believe I did the, oh, oopsie, the Naturally Easy Tarot. The Naturally Easy Tarot, this is the back. Um, this is literally natural, natural pictures, but then it's literally the message of the tarot. So like say this is a natural picture and it's the high priestess. And it will say utilizing and following your intuition. So if you don't know tarot, um, these and you don't say if you don't like Rider Waite Smith artwork, a lot of people don't really gravitate. Sometimes they're put off by the death, the devil, all that. The intention of making this why I was inspired to do it was I was told like some people would really benefit from the tarot, but they're put off by the artwork or use natural pictures and put it um, the meanings like spirit meanings on there, and and they can use it naturally, you know and here we have five of pentacles we have the magician money coming in here it's, um it's all natural pictures the moon hidden feelings reveals it's natural picture of the moon um you have nine of cups happy tide of goodness um so it's literally but also like ten of swords the end of a difficult time like when the storm passes and the first ray of sun comes through the clouds so it, oh, there were a couple in here that were just so beautiful um, well anyway nine of pentacles um, it's literal natural pictures the world it's a picture um, seven of pentacles like the harvest here the full blooming new beginnings they're all natural pictures six of wands what does it feel like the ivy going up the building you know success moving on up um, to new levels literally naturally so I really like that a lot queen of wands um, Eight of Pentacles, working hard now for smoother roads ahead. It's literally a rocky road to work on. Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, standing up tall for yourself to others. Look at the flowers here. Um, two of Cups, loving relationships. We have the higher fence, real church windows here. Six of Pentacles. I just loved that um, it was all natural pictures here. So that was the natural or uh, tarot naturally easy tarot they called it naturally easy because um it you're feeling the natural picture and then the it you know what it feels like to be a hermit looking within for answers and looking at a natural picture so that was a naturally easy tarot so okay so then the next one that i had was so you could see these are really okay so now we had divine spirit i know i'm jumping all over the place divine spirit again all these large decks have 88 cards plus two instructions this was divine spirit messages for your divine spirit so it's called the divine spirit oracle cards and this is all like you have divine help with this matter it was all very direct divine messages for your divine spirit to like swoop in and give you a direct message release the drama of it very clear and to the point keep your focus um guidance uh, release your thoughts of it for now um, you are being protected with this so this is when I want to direct divine spirit messages from my divine spirit believe in yourself um, you are being divinely moved right now there are tons of messages here get some downtime and tune in express yourself at this time this is a selenite crystal uh, angel here too you have divine help here now you may want to reconsider that so it's all the guidance. Let yourself feel unburdened. These are very direct. Surround yourself with positivity. So this is divine spirit to get divine spirit.
spirit messages for your divine spirit um let's go down okay so then i have divine timing this is one that people are really loving i almost wish i made it bigger but then i had to keep the cost down maybe at some point i might make it bigger but this is a smaller deck divine timing but it's very direct divine timing messages so it almost didn't warrant like a large deck um again i wanted to keep the cost down so this is a natural picture of the sky with clouds divine timing and these were all divine timing like i wrote it down with uh, almost dictation divine timing this is when you want to get you know there's always divine timing at work so this is when you want to tap in on a particular question. I don't overly use this deck. I keep saying it's like you really zone in and clear yourself out and get um, think as you're shuffling the cards what you want to uh, get a divine timing message for and let two or three cards fall out. And it's very clear. So don't I, I never keep doing it or uh, repeat the same question over and over. You know, it's so here are the messages. Divine timing is right now in no time, meaning in no time at all. Like, um, time is in motion, timing is one day soon, timing off for now, timing almost here, next couple of months, timing is in the future, timing unknowable yet, timing will be right on time, timing not here yet, timing is not available, unclear, you know, it's right time, timing is not now, timing will be soon, it's all timing, next month looks good, next couple of years, next couple of weeks, oopsie. Um, timing not possible yet you know so it runs the gamut on all timing issues like when you have a divine timing question timing not possible yet so I would pull a couple of cards and get a message of what it is timing is soon so it's when you really want to get those divine timing messages and um, this was very clear and on the point I mean you pull like one card if two come out you'll get a, you'll get an idea of what the divine timing is and um, you know, things are in flux. So it's like there are cards in here that say the timing was pushed up, the timing was pushed back, the timing is calibrating, the timing is in the works, the timing, you know, so it's one to the gamut of all the divine timing issues. So um, that was my divine timing deck. The very last deck that I just showed on the channel I'm so excited about is the divine power oracle because I was getting so many messages about it. it's so important for our divine power to feel in divine power and because we're co-creating, creating, creating uh, recreating right now and it's for us to step in with more divine power and turn up our divine timer ta divine timer divine power and feel really empowered at this time and take those action steps and not and go forward so literally it's all about divine power and this is my latest deck um, stay connected to your divine power know you always have divine power to go on and to turn up and these are here to connect with to receive to be empowered and these are divine power messages to connect with and to turn up with divine power, your divine power. So all the large decks, they have 88 cards plus two instruction cards. So it's a this one's a big deck. You have divine power to reboot and recharge. You have divine power, so to share it now. You have divine power to connect with for more wisdom. You have divine power to help feel more safe. You have divine power to make it happen. You have divine power to bring in more faith and trust in here. You have divine power to know what you really need. You have divine power, so to use it now. You have divine power to connect with for more peace. You have divine power to listen to your heart. Um, hold on a second. Um, I love these cards. There are so many messages in here that run the gamut. You have divine power to remain connected to always. You have divine power to make it through anything. You have divine power to go back and redo. You have divine power to know what you really feel. It runs the gamut on like, Stepping in with more divine power, knowing you have more divine power, utilizing more divine power, paying attention to your power, your energy levels. We have to be there for ourselves to empower ourselves, be empowered to finish things, start things, create things, move forward, go forward. The strength and power we need for these times, especially. Um, these have been recurring spirit messages, especially for right now, because we're making the difference. There is a, even a card in here that we're making the difference. We're part of the co-creation, recreation right now. We need divine power for this. You have divine power to bring more peace in here. You have divine power to connect with for more support. You have divine power, so remember to activate it. Um, you have divine power to power up now. You have divine power to start. You have divine power to move ahead. And you have divine power to plug into more things. You have divine power to shine a light on situations. You have divine power to make the difference. 
And that's really what it's all about. That's so interesting. It's the last card. It's like, just like I was inspired to do this, whatever you're inspired to do, you're, you're being, you have divine power to make the difference, right? Especially now in this time of transformation uh, for whatever you're working on doing everything else. So that was behind the whole divine power to show up with more divine power in your life. So this was just a quick overview because I do now have a deck. So I always say, I think I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But I thought I was done just when I had this one and these two. And then look what happens. Um, but I do think I'm done for now. <laughs> so, but these are my decks, free spirit cards. Um, I do small runs in my Etsy store to share. And, and if there's no stock, um, believe me, I order more uh, small runs at a time and I make them available and everything. And I do want to thank you for, you know, appreciating the energy of the decks like I do. Um, these are my babies. I really call them my babies. And so I'm so happy they're finding good homes and they're attracting people that I know are meant to have the decks. I can tell from the energy and the comments that I'm like, wow, you know, I don't advertise my decks anywhere. I don't even advertise my channel anywhere. I'm on no other social media. I set free on YouTube. Um, my cards, my videos, my spirit messages, my spirit readings. I'm not on any other social media. Um, so if you feel guided or you find one of my readings, my messages, my cards, my decks, um, you were guided there, like you were attracted to that, or like of the same energy or something, we're resonating at the same energy. Um, they told me that from the beginning, like I didn't have to have fear of sharing anything because not many people would see it or find it or hear it or um, they did. So they were like, you could just, you know, set it free just on this channel, st step away. And like whoever's meant to see the message, hear the message, get the cards, whatever. Um, that's how I work. I'm not plugging my channel. I'm not trying to grow my channel necessarily. It's like um, I'm just setting it free. And that goes for all my things. Like if you find it, it, that's for you to find. And if not, not, you know, if it's for you, it's for you. If not, not. But um, I'm just guided to create it, set it free and um, share it and um, these feed me um, and I just I, I these are my babies so these are now eight decks free spirit cards I call them free spirit cards and they're tarot and oracle cards and again they're all natural pictures with spirit messages on them and again I'm not a digital designer so um, it really they're not doctored pictures because I don't even know how to do that and that's why I think like with the jewel tower why I took it off because I have no way of knowing technology wise to fix it up so that I feel like they're crisper or not blurry and I can't redo it so I think this one is not available um, but the rest are and if they're not currently on the store they will be because I order small runs at a time this deck I just got last night printed uh, yesterday uh, yeah last night and um, so I'm in the process of ordering them. Um, so the Divine Power Deck will be up in two weeks. But I think everybody else is here. Everybody, <laughs> I talk to them like they're my babies. Everyone else is on my store. This one is going to be up in two weeks, Divine Power. And that's what the times are all about right now. Feel really empowered with whatever you're doing. And if you don't, take the action steps to re-empower yourself. Because there's so much pulling at our energy right now. And you need to pull it back to do, to do things. Um, again, I do this on the side, you know, I do it because it's a passion. I mean, I have a job, but we're, you know, work, work, and we're all being called in. Even work is changing. You know, we have to, um, it's just really, we have to really take care of ourselves during this time. So I, I've created these to fuel me back up. And so I'm sharing it if it helps. And like everything on my channel, I just, everything here is just to uplift your spirit. That's really what it's all about. So we can feel inspired and empowered and in our own lives and these help me to do that so that's why i'm sharing them okay thanks so much take care bye bye